F.J. Wright's high school began as a single building in Forest Hills in 1918. Since then, it's undergone numerous renovations to meet the needs of an expanding and diverse student body and staff. Among those many renovations is the addition of the widely known tunnel. Before the remodel, the auditorium also served as a gymnasium with a very shallow stage of less than 16 feet in depth. The need to deepen the stage and make the auditorium its own facility necessitated the remodel that led to the tunnel. In November of 1959, the school was cleared for plans to remodel the auditorium and renovate the boiler room. This plan would entail creating an incline towards the back of the auditorium for a better view of the stage, implementing concrete floors, adding new chairs, and extending the stage over the road behind the school. The supporting structure on the other side of the street opened the opportunity for a concession stand and a press box for the Wrights football games held adjacent to the new structure. Overall costs for the project were estimated at $410,000, with the press box estimated to require $21,000 on its own. The school board began letting bids to local contractors, electricians, and construction companies within the next month of the plan's approval, and the remodel began. However, this was only one part of a three-phase project. Phase one included a classroom and gymnasium remodel that reached approximately $1 million. The second phase was the tunnel, boiler room, and auditorium renovations, and phase three included remodeling classrooms and the cafeteria in the oldest section of the building. The entire project was completed in 1963, but the tunnel was completed in 1961. The tunnel still stands today and serves more functions than just a place for cars to drive through. It's the concession area for the still locally famous Wrights football games. It's the monument that allows Wrights' outstanding theater department to showcase their works for the community to see and enjoy, and it's a significant part of the school's history, even half of a century later.